how to double your salary in two moves. This video is about horizontal movements, namely cross scaling. My name's Isaac, previous CTO of a funded startup, and I run the checkout team of Pretty Little Thing. What I'm really talking about today is improving value, which normally is directly tied to improving opportunity and improving salary. Traditional ways you improve your value as a developer is you become a better developer, you try to get promoted in your company, or you move to a bigger company, but then more vertical movements. The funny thing about vertical scaling is it often compounds with time and it gets harder to go up to the next level. So for example, if you want to go from a junior to a mid, two years of working actually makes a really big difference, you know? So someone who's been working one year, definitely junior. Three years, okay, might be a mid. Further in your career, like the difference between like seven and nine years doesn't really make a difference. I'm not saying it's not better, it just probably doesn't reflect in your salary. As much as you want to improve your skills and specialize, interesting enough, you don't actually have to just do it in one field. If you specialize in two skills, it actually makes it even harder for someone to have a similar combination of skills that you do. I wanted to discuss roles that you could actually pivot into and increase your salary that doesn't take a ridiculous amount of time to do is just picking up adjacent skills that are similar to what you're already doing. So the jobs I wanted to talk about are all kind of connected and I want to show you how you can kind of pivot from each going into something higher. So if you imagine you're a front-end developer and you know you're really into the caching, if you learn back-end you now become a full stack developer which is already more valuable but that can even have a knock-on effect on how you understand and deliver with back-end and then maybe on back-end you also have expertise on how things are cached and delivered and load speed and then having these skills like you're not actually just a full stack developer anymore you're not an expert on content delivery when you know everything that goes through cdns page loads front end developers is like 20 25 full stack can be like 50. i'm not saying this is always the best move if you guys sit on a particular skill that like you want to be a front end senior developer go for it but this is why cross scaling is so interesting because if you're a front end developer for five years you might be a senior you only need one or two years of back end or even less and now you're like a full stack and your value actually jumps up from that you could even be senior full stack arguably which you know might lead front end and design so if you actually pick up like ux as well as your front end it actually bumps you up a level you could be like a junior front end developer but if your ux design is reasonable let's say like a little bit above like junior you become a midweight front end and then equally you know if you're a midweight front end developer and you have decent ux skills you actually bump up to senior so it's it's crazy how that actually affects your value and then back end if you add back end with networking you actually become devops back end developers do get paid about 35 to 45 which is pretty decent devops it's like 60 is one of the best paid fields if i was looking to make more in contracting that's actually the thing i pick up next contractors get picked like 800 a day i'm not joking it's good and then networking network and design you actually become a system architect ironically these are the positions that i heard people talk about the least but if you combine these roles you're looking at six figures like a system architect is very important it's quite senior it's the person that makes the decisions on how the architecture of the system fits together and then this is then given to the devs Point being, you don't have to do another 10 years in your role to get the bag. You know, there's probably an adjacent skill you could pick up and you actually jump up your salary quite a bit in a year or so. I wanted to break down the misconceptions behind needing to be super specialized in a particular field. There's no avoiding hard work, don't get me wrong, but you don't necessarily have to put it all in one basket. By diversifying what you do, especially by having two adjacent skills, you can kind of craft your own career path. Don't feel like you're limited to strictly speaking the skills or expected career path. You can combine things together and you can find your own little niche that will give you better opportunities. And especially if it's something you enjoy more, it's better for everyone, right? You'll enjoy your work, means you'll do better work. Employers are happy, you're happy, yay. This was just my experience and things that I've seen, but I do hope it was useful. If you know someone on the tech scene that's considering what the next move might be, please send them this video so they can make a more informed decision. Thanks guys.